Yo guys, what's up? So it's been some time and I really hope you're well. I've certainly been well. There's been so much going on in my life right now, so I haven't really been, you know, having spare time to make videos like this. But um, recently I've had a massive inflow to my inbox about our riding style. There have been like a cult uh, criticizing it. So for today's video, let's just get this straight. So that if you're new to the industry and you have any questions and the thoughts about our riding style, you will have everything addressed in this video. So you might see on, on some of our videos that there is uh, a certain hate towards our setups, like ex especially our wheels and the, the, uh, the scooter deck length that's often criticized. What's really funny is that back in the days when I, when I began my scooting journey, this wasn't anything unusual. Back then, having like inline wheels and the wheels that, that were sub 100 millimeter was a re regular thing. It's only in recent days where people have like started to criticize it and I, I think it comes from a place of them being kind of lost and just uninformed and unaware of the, the people whose shoulders they stand on. And essentially what you're doing when you choose to criticize our wheels is that you are discrediting the legacies and the hard work of the people that are the most OG of this industry. You know, such as the uh, the racer team, French ID team, and the numerous OGs. If you have a look on my selected favorites of my channel, and you scroll back really, 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 really far, you are going to find a lot of these types of videos. And like, for for example, the Racer Pro and Ultra Pro, though those wheels were sub 100 millimeters, uh, and back then there were like some critics, but that's the the world's most known scooter probably, the the, the Racer Pro. So pretty interesting and then why do we even like use this wheel why not just use, use metal cores and skip all these comments yeah number one because we don't really care what others think and number two for flat riding these wheels are just more specialized for that type of riding so for example if you were to ride park you would not use these tiny wheels right no you you wouldn't that would be yeah not the most wise decisions like if you're a park rider, you would use something like 110 wheels that are really grippy so that you don't you know, slip and hurt yourself. And uh, likewise for flat riding, you should use something that's, you know, you know, probably not 120 millimeter wheels, right? Right. Now, is it more impressive to ride with bigger wheels? Like obviously the uh, bigger scooter you use, the more impressive, the more impressive and more difficult it will be. But it, it's not that it's a completely different animal. And you, you, you can even take our group team members as an example. Like some people start out with smaller wheels and they make some really good progress there. And then they switch to like 100 millimeter wheels or 110 wheels and they are just as good. So we have numerous examples. We have like Max Grabeck, we have like Kyle. I'm not sure if Andy uses those wheels, but like those, those are examples. Those are examples of people that are like really, really good on group that have migrated to bigger wheels for whatever reason. Um, like I, I see the point if you do both flat and park riding, it, it makes sense to find that equilibrium of wheel size. But you, you, you also run into an, another problem when picking on, picking on the wheels specifically, because if someone would do quint with flat, for example, on 100 millimeter wheels, and let's say then someone does it on one tens, they are gonna say that that uh, you know oh 100 millimeter wheels uh, doesn't count, they're too small. So like it, it's this endless paradigm that you go into of just, you know, pointing on very specific points. And like, another thing, like, I, I, I don't really choose to go into conversations with these people because I'm all about positive energy and inspiring others and really just putting my best version, putting the best version of myself into the space. And like, when you come across really, like, negative, almost like satanic energy, you like, like, I'm really repulsed by that, I don't have you know, time and room for that in my life anymore. So that's why I choose not to like go into the comment sections and go back and forth with these people because it's not worth my energy and time. So, so yeah, and I don't think you should do it either. Okay, then my, my last point, then I'm done with this part of the video, I promise, uh, is also the, the cheating part. Like, for it to be cheating, there has to be like an external object or external factor that can't, that's outside the scooter. Like, for example, imagine if I would do a uh, a 10 whip flat but i had like a glider pulling me up that would be cheating 
but like using smaller wheels which the criticizers have the same access to cannot be cheating to me it just sounds like massive code like if you're one of those people please comment down below and we can like have a little chat about it Yeah, I'm brain. Let's go see down some NPC. There is some Klaus Schwab build. See that's some fucking NPC. There are mosquitoes everywhere here biting me. So really annoying. For some reason they love my blood. And that's like one of those things I really don't like about this time of the year is that the mosquitoes are are all over me. But yeah again I think I covered the uh, main points and this is something that will never change so uh, whether you like it or not sub 100 millimeter wheels are here to stay and they are probably just gonna get more and more common so for the haters that's just how it is you just have to embrace the suck i will make a point though no one has done quint whip flats on 100 mm on 100 millimeter wheels yet so that will be a first but uh, if you say that it's on it's on normal wheels, blah blah blah. Like I'm really sorry to say it, but you are you are really really misinformed. So it will be the first on 100 millimeter wheels plus potentially. If someone does that, that would be freaking amazing. I would love to uh, I would love to witness that. So if you're fighting for it, keep up the hard work. All right, I'm out. Oh, oh, oh. Listening to some good music out there with the A Obo K1 speaker. Really nice, really nice. So link in the comments. made boom pretty good I don't think I was near maxing it out, but like still decent numbers and the battery is like, yeah, it's pretty low. Alright guys, I might have to do a little voiceover today because it's really windy. Very good weather though, so I appreciate it. Alright, so here's the QQ in G4. Man, I gotta say, this scooter blew my freaking mind. It is really, really insane. Like, you, you're paying like a thousand bucks and you get a scooter that can go up to like 70 kilometers per hour and 70 kilometer range. That is so bang for your buck. It's crazy. We're turning it on. So we turn it on here. With a key, it's on. I don't know how good lightning is here, but yeah. Indicator. And also back here. Ah, very nice. We got a horn. Not the loudest horn, but I like it. And then here, here we got this really awesome mixture of thumb throttle and also a wrist throttle so 
this was very 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 nice into to display so as you can see here we have we have a couple modes we have echo mode we have sport mode and then the race mode and race mode is really fat what i really really love about this scooter is the wheels like these wheels here they are so good they are two blessed tires so there, there is no tube in there just air so pretty much puncture proof the brakes are really solid and really reactive i love them i just solved a million dollar problem all right q kirin let me know what you think of my solution Overall, I'm very happy with this scooter. The only thing that could be better is the kickstand. It's pretty weak, but I will rate it 9.71 out of 10. Really good scooter. I highly recommend it. Fantastic.